Hello and welcome back to another episode of HVAC system design tutorial with the channel of the world of building design. So in this tutorial, I would like to share with you uh, one of the very beneficial design tools that um, you can use as a HVAC system designer. Uh, this is basically the, the tool proposed by the uh, Lauren Cook which is a very well-known uh, manufacturer of the uh, ventilation and exhaust fan systems. Downloading this design tool would be very beneficial for you if you want to uh, select different kind of um, exhaust systems. And uh, in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to download this tool and where to get um, the, uh, the software from when you download it, how you can use it, and what are the beneficial tools that uh, this software can offer you. First thing you do, you go to this uh, website of the laurencook.com and on the design tool. Uh, so if you look at here, when you go to this website, uh, there is a feature called design tool. And under design tool, there are a variety of the tools that you can use um, if you want any of these products to be um, uh, to be given to you in form of a Revit MEP model or if you want the CAD model you can familiarize yourself with all the different type of uh, models that this company uh, proposes to you but before we get any further please uh, don't forget that this company produces this kind of uh, you know exhaust and ventilation system and if you want to use this tool and also their um, information you have to consider that if if the Lauren Cook has representative there and can provide um, this kind of um, products uh, to your projects in North America in Canada and United States you can find um, you know all this type of products provided by Lauren Cook so that's why I'm using this tool just to show you how it works after you come to the design tool section you come on the bottom, you have to uh, register here, you have to select the area that you are um, residing and then based on that you have to uh, uh, select for uh, the location you are. I have already selected Canada where I am and I have uh, provided all my information, my email address, my name and pretty much everything that they ask for and then you press on submit and once you do that, then they send you a notification uh, email. In the notification email, they give you a passcode and a uh, username and password and also activation uh, code that you have to register uh, once you download the software. Once you download the software, I have already downloaded the software um, and uh, I have added it to my... Uh, platform of my uh, you know windows that I'm using so let's show you when I open this software it looks like something like this you can see there's a variety of different type of uh, exhaust fans uh, you know uh, a schematic and photos are showing here whether it's inline fan or wall mounted fan or if you're looking for the uh, laboratories exhaust system so the good thing about this is that as I said the software platform is very friendly. You can select your system or exhaust system or ventilation system based on the type of application. So if you look at here, on the top here, you can select it by your application or you can select it by the type of group. So you can do that from the interactive uh, you know, um, page in here too. So if, for example, I want to uh, select an exhaust fan for a very simple washroom. I want a very small exhaust fan, ceiling mounted exhaust fan. So I'm coming to ceiling mounted exhaust fan here, as you can see it's highlighted, and I press on the, the ceiling exhaust fan symbol. As you can see, you have to fill up other information here uh, in terms of what's the application. This is general ventilation, the installation location, ceiling. If you go to the drop down, menu as you can see there are other options such as roof uh, floor or wall or ceiling in this case I'm not changing anything because this model is specifically suitable for the ceiling mount and then you select the impeller type of your exhaust fan 
you can make any changes but for this purpose I'm not changing anything I keep as all drive type um, you can select either belt driven fan or direct driven fan it's up to you and then as you can see on the bottom there is different applications <clears throat> I'm not gonna make any uh, change to there because I want all the options to be shown and then uh, certification there are a variety of certification uh, that um, a manufacturer of exhaust system and ventilation system follow uh, in North America and that's the list as you can see here after I know the type of application I go to the next and then what happens is that I'm going to get into a new page um, where I have to select the city or location where I am so as I said this software is uh, focused on the US market so you can basically select from the US um, you know cities in here if you're international or in Canada um, the version you download might give you the possibility to select your um, you know local location but in uh, in this case, I have downloaded the US version, so I'm going to select um, you know, any of this for now uh, for the purpose of this um, tutorial. So basically gives you the altitude at that location because what we need to know is the air property because the air property will impact the calculation. And then now I'm going to put my CFM or cubic feet per minute of airflow that I want to exhaust and as you can see, for this a small type of application, you can't go beyond 1820 CFM. As you can see, there's a range up to 18. But in our in a washroom, I'm selecting this from, I'm going to just select 75 CFM. And for the static pressure, uh, as you can see, this is a very small exhaust fan. It gives you an option up to one inch pressure drop. You can select, I'm going to put like half an inch uh, pressure drop. Air stream temperature, I'm going to just change this to 75 and then I'm not changing anything else, I'm going to go with select. So the system starts to work and there's variety of selection is showing me here. I'm just going to press on this button on the middle and I'm going to maximize this page. As I press on different tab on different line here on the top you can see there are different selections for me and then uh, the important feature of that specific fan including its curve are showing here so in future tutorial we can focus on how to to read these curves and what is the optimum uh, you know optimum selection you have to choose from as you can see obviously here is the uh, fan capacity you can see the power uh, you can see the motor, the variety of information that you can see and also you can turn on and off some of these graph features. If you come on the bottom here, if you want to see the maximum RPM curve, you just press on this uh, feature and as you can see, so what we see here, we have to have, we do have the system curve as you can see where my cursor is and also we have the fan curve uh, which is the black line here as you can see this is the inlet airflow versus static pressure so that's our fan at its nominal working capacity and the red as you can see is at the maximum fan rpm i'm not going to go too detailed in the to the analysis of the fan selection here uh, but just to show you quickly there are a variety of options and information you can get from these curves so imagine if you stay in this very same line, you can go to the dimension of that fan. You can see easily in dimension. You can see the fan, different uh, features and components. Uh, and then you can see also the typical specification for that fan and obviously the uh, type of license for that fan. The information about the sound emission from this fan at different octave band you can see the uh, sound pressure, uh, sound intensity. The other information on the top, you can go to the options here and you can see what other options this type of fan that we just selected provides us in terms of the type of accessories. So you can, if I go onto the accessories, you can 
select or narrow down from a whole host of options that are available in here. I'm not going to make any changes here. So I'm going to just turn this back and uh, make this small. So I'm going to just close this and go back to the software as a whole. So as you can see, you can select a variety of different exhaust fan here. And um, from there, you can narrow down to the specific model that are suitable for your application, for your um, total capacity that you want to deliver in terms of CFM or based on the total static pressure or dock work that you have uh, designed and um, you know sized you can select the proper static pressure for the fan and also you can analyze the uh, you know the suitability of the fan in terms of its um, efficiency in terms of their power consumption etc etc other features the software can give you here is there are some interesting features. There are um, options for you to do the dock design. As you can see, the symbol I press, it gives you the some dock design uh, quick calculation feature. You determine your CFM, your um, dock dimension, whether it's a round dock or a rectangular dock. You can put the dimension and also the length of the dock. You can determine the roughness uh, of your dock type and also the altitude and the temperature. It can calculate for you the head loss uh, through your dock work based on the based on the velocity. So, so this these numbers you can see the results. These are calculated based on the parameters you provided on the top. So if I if I size say if I am sizing for an exhaust fan which delivers a 5000 CFM if I select uh, say 20 inch of round duct and the length of uh, my duct from my exhaust air outlet all the way to the location where I exhaust out from the building if it is 300 feet length I'm going to keep the roughness of the duct as medium smoothness so remember that you have different options depending on the roughness of the surface of your interior dock work you can select any of this and as you know you can know that based on the type of material you want to use just to show you very quickly where uh, this is referenced to they are referenced to ASHRAE standards so I'm going to show you very quickly on the ASHRAE standards if you come to the ASHRAE standards, I'm using the uh, ASHRAE 2009. As you can see, the dock design. As you can see, this is a duct roughness factor. This is straight from ASHRAE fundamental. I'm using the 2009. So as you can see, depending on the type of material you're using, say for the galvanized steel, you can say that this is a medium smooth uh, material for the dock roughness and then this correlates to absolute roughness value that you can see here so in our case I'm going to keep it as medium smooth I'm not going to change anything so go back to our software here so medium smooth I'm going to keep it my altitude at Toronto if I say 530 feet and the temperature 75 I get the result in here, as you can see, my dock velocity is too high, 2,292 feet per minute. This is a very, very high number. I'm going to just change my dock size to a larger dock size because I would need to drop this dock velocity below 1,000 feet per minute. So I'm going to go to a 30 here. And as you can see, my dock velocity or the airstream velocity decreases here, right? So I'm going to just go to... 32 here and now I am at 80, 895 feet per minute which is a more uh, reasonable number. In terms of the altitude, if you change your altitude because the air property changes or the uh, air density uh, decreases, you can see the decrease in the air density here. So if I go to a higher elevation say at 2000, remember that what is my number here, my air density number here. So if I go here at 2000, my air density decreases. So I'm going to go back to 500 to 2000 at a higher density. 
you see my air density decreases and then my static pressure loss changes as well so if my if my altitude go up go back to 500 and i show you that my static pressure loss is higher at lower density so if i go to a higher number 2000 uh, at my altitude my total static pressure loss in my dock fork decreases so these are the relationship that you need to understand every everywhere that you're designing a dock system or you're selecting an equipment you have to pay attention to elevation because it would impact your hydronic system selection and also your air distribution uh, selection as well so once i've done that you can also see the preview of your result by pressing on preview it gives you a snapshot of your selection and the number for your cfm your dimension and it's very very useful uh, tool to give you all of this information you can see there are other uh, information that i would like to discuss with you in the next tutorial um, so um, if you are interested in this type of tutorials you would like to learn more and more about the HVAC system design please don't forget to subscribe in this channel and press on the notification button to see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted thank you very much for watching